Hi friends, welcome to Koshika. This is the part 11 of Django Oscar e-commerce tutorial in English and the topic of this tutorial is loading of images in our Django Oscar site. I have already created here uh, these 10 parts of uh, Django Oscar uh, tutorials and uh, you can watch these tutorials from my uh, Django Oscar e-commerce tutorials for beginners in English playlist. And uh, in this tutorial you will learn how to load the images in our Django Oscar site. Now uh, let's see how I upload the images correctly for example uh, for our products. Uh, here I have one product almond oil uh, of the category oils and from this images link I will try to upload one image for the product. I will click here I will select this almond oil image I will click open. Now you can see the, uh, it is showing our image. Now I am going to save this. Okay. Now uh, let's check this uh, image on our site. So I will open uh, this all products link. Great. You can see here uh, I have uploaded uh, the image for this almond oil uh, correctly. And uh, this is the preview of uh, this tutorial to show you how I upload the images correctly. So if you like this tutorial, please like this video and subscribe to the channel Kurshika because your likes and subscribes motivates me to do more videos. So friends, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Now let's start the tutorial. Here I have opened read the docs of Django Oscar and uh, we are looking one topic that is building your own shop. The images in Django Oscar will not be loaded correctly because uh, it requires some external libraries to load the images. And uh, here they have mentioned one tip. Let's go through this. Uh, please ensure that below a fork of the Python imaging library gets installed with JPG support. That is PIL is the Python imaging library which adds uh, additional image processing capabilities to our Python interpreter and uh, below is the fork of the PIL which gives additional functionalities for example saving and manipulating the different formats of images. So we need to check whether uh, Pillow installed with uh, libraries required for JPG uh, images. Next, uh, supported formats are printed when Pillow is first installed. Instructions on how to get JPG support are highly platform specific, but guides for Pillow should work for Pillow as well. Uh, that is, getting the libraries for JPG support varies from one operating system to another. And generally speaking, we need to ensure that lib jpeg dev is installed and found during installation. That is, we need uh, that is we require lib jpeg uh, external library to load the images. Here we are uh, we are looking read the docs of pillow to see all the required external libraries. Here uh, they have mentioned uh, you do not need to install all supported external libraries to use pillow's basic features. Zlib and uh, lib jpeg are required by default. Okay, so these are uh, these are the required external libraries that is lib jpeg, zlib, libtif, etc. And uh, libjpg provides jpg functionality. Zlib provides uh, access to compressed PNGs and uh, others are there. So I will install only libjpg uh, for jpg support uh, for my Windows operating system. And uh, you can install others if you want. Now I will open new tab. Now let's search source fosnet. That is https source fosnet.net. Uh, to download the libjpg library, I have given this link in the description of this video. Now enter here. Okay, now let's search libjpg library here. So I will select this. Now uh, download from this link. I will click this. Okay, now let's open this uh, zip file. So, uh, this is our uh, libjpg library. Actually, it was a zip file, but my operating system extracted it here automatically. 
let's close this now this is a django project i have created and uh, i have did all the settings for oscar and using this project i will give a demo of how to load the images in the settings file uh, you should ensure that you have added uh, settings for static and media files uh, you should specify static url uh, static uh, files directories static root and specifically media url and uh, media root uh, to upload the images here i have specified media url with the pattern slash media and media root like this uh, for the media root i have specified media directory inside our root project uh, now we need to create a media directory in our project i will run the command make directory media i will exit here okay now let's go to external libraries uh, open site packages I will search here Oscar library and from the static directory go to images directory and here I will copy this image not found image copy this and in our media directory I will paste the image So this is your, uh, our image not found image. Now open urls.py file. Uh, as uh, we are serving files uploaded by user locally during development, then we need to add media URL to our URLs list. So type here from django.conf.urls.static import static from django.conf import settings now add the plus static in bracket settings dot media url comma document underscore root equals to settings dot media root so here we added media url uh, to our urls list using the static function and we have set the document root to our media root now let's run the server to open our oscar dashboard pi manage.py run server so uh, i have already created the super user and this is the oscar dashboard uh, so here i have created one product almond oil of the type uh, product type oils let's open this now from the images link i will try to upload one image for this product i will click here i will upload this almond oil image i will click open now i am going to save this i will click save okay now uh, let's check this image for this product on our oscar site this is our oscar site i will open all products link great uh, you can see here this is uh, the image for our product and I have uploaded the image for this product successfully. So friends in this tutorial you learn how to load the images in our Oscar site correctly and uh, if you like this tutorial please like this video and subscribe to the channel to get the new video updates first to you. And uh, uh, now I will meet in the next tutorial with the new topic. Bye bye.